Okay, here's another video that I want to show you some of the settings and functionality that you have in your Chrome browser. So Chrome browser is an application that gets you to the internet. Google is your search engine that helps you find things. So today I'm talking about the browser, Chrome. Click on it, open it. When you open your browser, right over here, there are three dots in the corner. This is what gets you to your settings for the browser. So if I click on that and I go right here to settings, I can change a bunch of different settings and let me show you some of them. Um, right here where it says on startup, I can tell it what page I want it to load to. So for example, when I opened up my browser, mine went straight to Google. Yours probably goes to the South Kitsap School District web, web page because that's how the district set it up for you. If you'd like to change that, you can click right here on set pages, type in whatever URL, the URL is the uniform resource locator, that is the web address that's right here. You can type in whatever you want it to open to and then click OK. I've set mine as Google, that's just most convenient for me, then click OK. So now when you open up your browser, it will go to whatever page you set it to. Okay. The next thing down says appearance. You can get themes that go on your, on your Chrome, and the way you do that is you click here, which opens up the Chrome Web Store, and notice how it's on the selection of themes. You can browse through the themes that they already have, and beware, not all of them are free. Most of them are, but not all of them are. Or you can look for a specific theme. Let's say I want... I don't know, kayaks. There aren't any. Here we go. Here's a couple down here. And then I can just click add to, thro to Chrome. Let's try something different. Um, wolves. Maybe there'll be something there. Okay, here we go. Wolf wallpapers, new tab theme. Wolf's new tab. Bad Wolves gaming viewer. Those are all extensions, so I want to scroll down, make sure I'm clicking on themes. And, oh, here's one, wolf pack, gray wolf theme, howling wolf theme, whatever. You find one that you want, and then you just click add to Chrome. It's changing my theme. Checking, checking. You'll notice that the background changed. Let's look and see what happens. Oops. Let's say if I open a new tab, you notice that all of this changed to, to the gray and then there's my theme. Okay, so there's tons of themes available. Um, I like to change it up every once in a while and put a new theme. And that's how you do that. Okay, I, this is my favorite. Calvin and Hobbes, add to Chrome. Notice this is gonna change up here in a second. See how it changed colors. And then when I click onto my new tab, there's my Calvin and Hobbes theme. Okay, so that's what that means. Um, down here below where it says get themes, where it says show home button, and there's a check, and then it shows this little, I think that's supposed to be a building. What this building means is that the school district has set those for you. Some of them you can change and some of them you cannot. Um, Showing the home button, it doesn't allow, allow you to take that away. And what the home button is, is this, this right here. And what happens if you click on it? So if I, let's see, let's go to here. And if I click on home, it goes to whatever page I tell it to direct to. If you wanted to go to a specific page, just like above here, you can change that page here by clicking change and then set it to whatever you want it to go to. If you want it to go to, you know, I don't know, I can't think of an example. Let's say you want to use Bing. You can put bing.com in there, click OK, and then every time you hit the home button, it will go directly to that page that you're asking it to go to. Okay, so that's what that means. Um, search is kind of cool. Right here I have it set to where my default search engine is Google. So if I type something in here, it's going to just do a Google search, which is pretty awesome. But if I click on Manage Search Engines, it will open up all these different search engines 
and I can make them have functionality in this box, which I think is pretty awesome. So here's some examples of things that I can use as search engines. You can actually set whatever you want, but here's an example of one that I use all of the time. I'm always searching in Google Drive. So what I've done here is I've gone under Google Drive and I've created a secret shortcut for myself, DR Drive. And so what that means is once I click done, when I go up into the um, Omnibox, which is what this box is, if I just type a regular old search, it's going to search a Google search. It's finding puppies. If I type in DR, which remember was my shortcut for drive, and then I push the space bar, notice how it's changed it to Google Drive. So then I can type in whatever I want to find in Google Drive and then hit enter and it's only going to search in my Google Drive and it will find what I'm looking for. So that's kind of a super cool feature that Chrome allows you to use. Here's my scope and sequen sequence, exactly what I was looking for. Now, if I want to go back to the page I was previously on, I can just hit the back arrow a couple of times. There's one, there's two, and now I'm back. Let's say I accidentally close a page. Here I'm looking for um, river and I found a site that I really want to use, but then I'm clicking around or somebody distracts me and I accidentally close that window and I'm like, dang it, I, really, I can't remember what I searched. You can just go right here to where it says new tab, open a new tab, and then right click on it and say reopened closed tab and it will reopen the one that you accidentally closed. Let's say you close five tabs. You just have to click reopen, reopen, reopen five different times. It's going to open the four previous ones and then finally you'll get to the one that you want. Okay, so um, those are some of the features that you can find in the Chrome browser. Um, there's many, many more, but I'm going to end because I'm going on seven minutes. So let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see what I can do to help you. See ya.